the EC here. Hi guys and gals. Well, little lunch vlog. I was gonna make a book review, but I went and forgot the book at home. So if I'm gonna make a book review, I wanna have it around me. Just so at least I can show it. But that'll be for another one then. Oh, so what do I chat about today? Well, it doesn't have to be much, really, just walking along. But I did see uh, something, I, I get I get like these newsletters once, it's once a day actually from the CBC. And uh, that's Canadian Broadcasting Corporation for those of you who are not originally from there anyway. Um, yeah, and there was a small article on uh, uh, summer stress. Uh, I, I flew over it a little bit. I mean, it wasn't that an interesting article, but it was, it was something that I think a lot of us end up knowing. I mean, you know, summer, the month of uh, nice weather, rest, uh, and uh, just getting over all that, those winter blues. Well, actually, it seems that for many people, it's think again. It's uh, planning vacations, trying to fit in free time, uh, getting everything done before those vacations, having to uh, uh, find hotels or flights or whatever when you didn't do it quickly enough, trying to find the best prices, um, the stress of actually getting to where you're going. You know, you know when I see, excuse me, this is just something, I just, just, you know, you might think, what's that doing there? It's a rock. <laughs> when you're used to geocaching, all of a sudden you walk and you say, stone, shouldn't be there. Must be a geocache. No, there is no geocache here, actually. Anyway. Oh, oh I got a phone call. Well, I'm just going to let it go. It's not something important. Okay. So, with all that, what I was going to say, though, is that, um, uh, yeah, getting there. Getting there is uh, is often a stressful, a stressful time. I'm gonna go around the mud. I'm on a walking path, but it's being cohabitated with bicycles, and they tear up the track. Anyway, yeah. So I mean, you can see that. Then actually, also, there's another thing that summer stress pulls in is that people get out of their habits. So they're used to being up and about. They gotta sit and fidget. I mean, I know we, some of us do it at our desks, but all of a sudden it's fidgeting in a very different, very different way. Uh, some people don't like sitting at the beach while others do. So they get stressed because they gotta sit with them. I know that's my case <laughs> for things like that, for example, and so on and so on. Um, meeting up with people that you haven't seen for a long time and realizing that after 10 minutes you've had enough and so on. Doesn't that stress you out just hearing about all this stuff? But I was reading and I was saying like, you know, there, there, there's quite a bit of, of truth in that and um, I don't know about you guys but sometimes some of the most restful vacations that I've had are staying home and just doing things around home and going back every evening and sleeping in my own bed. Well, let's see, is there anything new in the X Wiccan circle corner here? No, it's all been destroyed. Looks like there's been some movement in that respect yeah i was thinking though it's like once you get to really know a place and it becomes like so-called home or you're very used to what you're doing then it probably is easy like people that have cottages some people say oh well there's a stress of always having to go to your cottage and uh, optimizing maximizing your time and investment Again, on the other hand, you're going home. So once you're there, you kind of do the same things. I know it's kind of a routine, but the stress levels go down. I feel that, fun, funnily enough, when I, when I go to Ireland now, because I've got my, 
my travel pattern, so to say. I usually, I mean like 95% of the time, will go into the same hotels. I mean, if I'm going to Cork, um, we'll go into the same hotel. Um, I know my way around. Um, so, so you see what I'm getting at. It's just, it is in a way, it's like almost like going home. Even when I have the meetings, yes, there's meetings, but it's in meeting rooms that I'm used to and so on. So there is that. So does that mean that we shouldn't discover things? I don't think so, actually. There's some, I mean, there's good stuff in the stress. I mean, there's also, I mean, discovering things and getting yourself worked up, you know, not becoming apathetic. It's always the same thing when you discuss about stress. You end up talking about that good stress and that bad stress that's basically the one that kills you. So summer stress, certainly. Is it fully bad? I would say no. Is it fully good? I'd say no as well. It's just trying to get that usual balance of things. Yeah, so that was my little take on something. Tell me what you think. DC signing off, everybody. Take care and have a good Wednesday. Bye-bye.